Hi Felt fans! Well, in this time of worldly turbulence, I have decided to keep everyone entertained, hopefully for the next 30 minutes, in production with Art Production Fund and Rockefeller Centre. Today we are going to be making this little strawberry. Now don't worry if you haven't sewn before, there's lots of sewing tutorials out on YouTube. This by all means is not going to be a, uh, a full teaching you how to sew lesson because we don't have time for that. But we are going to make this strawberry. I'm making all of these things with felt but obviously we can't really leave the house so there's many things that you can use instead. Things that could be substituted for strawberry is a pair of red socks. Um, you could have a flannel that you've got lying around. The green thing could be other kind of dishcloth or something. This is your chance to use your imagination to, in whatever you have lying around the house. So I have cut out some shapes that will make a strawberry and if you want to follow along this video just pause it if I'm going too fast and you can catch up. The things you'll need today, if you want I've got felt, two pieces of felt shaped like this. These are going to form the face, this bit. This bit is going to form his head. And this bit here is going to form the stalk. Now these are plastic toy eyes. I understand if you don't have these in the house, most people wouldn't. I've got thousands, but that's because I like collecting them. But if not, you can choose to use some black and white paint. Just put a little black blob and a little bit of white blob to highlight his eyes. I'll do that on the one that I make so you can see how it's done. If you don't, this is just normal acrylic paint, but this is special ones for, for, fa fa for fabric, <laughs> but you can use whatever you want. You will also need a sewing needle, some scissors, and some red and some green cotton. To stuff the strawberry, I've got some floof that I use to stuff everything that I make. If you don't have that, you can use some cotton wool. So most people have got that in the bathrooms, but if you've got, if you're lucky enough to have some stuffing in your house, you can use that as well. Or, you know, some contents of pillows, duvets, anything. So if you are going down the eye route, you will need to cut two little holes in your strawberry. About there and there, and that's where the eyes are gonna go. For those of you who aren't using eyes, I will paint the eyes on the other side so you can see how it's done. These are normal toy eyes. For those of you who um, are watching in America, you can get these in Joann's. I'm sure you can order online if, they, if you can't get it to the store. And they've just got a back on like that. They're toy safety eyes. Okay, so that's the eyes on. And there he is looking at you. The next thing we're going to thread up a needle I like to use quite a big needle but it's completely up to you and I'll double the thread over to make it thicker and it's going to make your strawberry more secure. So with your two pieces you've got the eye piece and then you've got the back piece. I'm starting as if he's upside down, I'm starting from this left hand corner. So the stitch I'm using here, if you do want to look it up on YouTube and have a practice before you start making your strawberry, is called overstitch. So you're literally just going round and round the edge of the strawberry to hold these two pieces of felt together. Now felt is a great fabric because it doesn't fray it's really easy to cut and it's nice and soft and it's available in lots of colours. So if you can still get to the craft store, I'd recommend you, you stock up and you can make all of these, these things at home yourself. So I'm halfway round here. I've just got a bit of thread thread in there. We can snip that off later. I'm halfway round and you can see I've got half a strawberry. And I'll go all the way round. And when I get to the top, we'll start stuffing him. Okay, we are there. So now you have a little strawberry pocket. Who 
we'll take some of our floof, pop it in the top. You want to make sure you've got stuff right down in there below the eye stalks. Top it up with a bit more as you see fit. So notice I haven't removed the thread here. I've just left that hanging because I know that we're going to carry on. Now I'm going to take this circle, that's his head, and just fasten it to create the third side there. Ogilvy's decided to join us. Thank you. And we're carrying on with the same stitch, over stitch, all the way around the top. there you can really see it it's taking shape so I'm just going all the way around that's me halfway around so then the last bit we're just gonna seal them up around the top I'll try and do this backwards so that you can see what I'm doing. And we're tucking the floof in all the way around because we don't want to get that caught in the seams. Because it's a nightmare to get out if not. Okay, so we've got to the end here. We're just going to do a few more stitches to secure. Just make sure it doesn't come undone. And then snip the thread close. You're then going to snip these threads that we were going to snip earlier. There. So we've got a strawberry now. He hasn't got a stalk on, but we're going to do that next. That's what he should be looking like right now. So we'll remove the red thread from a needle and thread it with the green thread. Again, I'm doing double just because it's stronger. So you take your strawberry stalk and you pop it just on his head like that. And we're going to go right through the top here. And we're just going to do a couple of stitches to secure. Might be a bit tough if you've got a thicker needle getting that through. There's one stitch. I would do about four stitches and that should be enough. Okay. That's your last stitch. I'm going to snip it with my teeth. And there we go. There is your completed strawberry with its belt. So now, if you've got paint, what you could do now is just put a little smile on him. Like that. You can make him an un unhappy strawberry if you want. But I like my strawberries happy. Um, we've also got some yellow paint here. Again, it's just fabric paint or just acrylic. And it comes straight from the nozzle. And I'm just putting some little pips on him. There we go. Couple more. And that is your finished strawberry. So for those of you who don't have the toy eyes, we're just gonna turn him round and I'm gonna draw some on the back and you can see how easy it is. There's his two eyes there. And I'm gonna put some little dots of white. Again, same paint just as little glints in his eyes to catch the light. And again, with the yellow, you can just dot it where you want. And there is your finished strawberry. So why not having, have a go, see what you've got lying around the house, uh, what you can make strawberries out of, and I think you'll surprise yourself. Thanks for watching. Hi again, felt fans. I'm here during the uh, current crisis going on in the world just to keep you entertained and finding things to do around the house. 
I've got my best friend Basil and all his banana family and here is Ogilvy. I can't guarantee that he's going to stay here. He like, just likes video, crushing the video. Um, so during this time, um, I'd just like to put out a special message uh, to say that keep clean, preferably with real cleaning products. This, if you can find it, is very important and floor cleaner also if you can find it. So now there's that bit over with. Next we will be making a red chilli. So what you need for this is some felt, some thread, some toy eyes if you have them but if not you can use paint, some scissors and some paints also if you have them. But don't worry if not and anything you can find around the house you can cut up old clothes, um, not obviously your dad's or boyfriend's Versace suit, not that I think they would have that in red, but um, just ask before you start cutting up people's clothes, I, I found it helps. Um, okay, the first thing that we're going to do is, this is the shape that you should be looking at. It is the shape of a basic chilli. Now first, we will need to measure out some red thread. I always get too much, because then you know you'll always have enough. Thread that needle. Now this time we're going to start from up here. Thank you, not helping. Leave yourself a tail. No need to tie a knot, I find that it actually takes more time than it saves. So I just do a couple of stitches to make sure that it's secure. And we're using the same stitch as we did before with the strawberry, going round and round and round to sew these two flat bits of felt together. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way down here and that's where I'll stop and we'll put some eyes in. Again, if you don't have eyes, you can just use some blobs of paint or you can just have an eyeless chilli. You can have a chilli with one eye. You can have a chilli with three eyes if you want. I think that lots of people are going to be in their houses wondering what to do with their newfound time. He's knocking things over. Thank you. Okay, so I'm nearly down at the bottom here now. Okay, so I am there. I'm going to snip some holes for the eyes. Now these need smaller holes just because we're using smaller eyes. Just a tiniest snip with the scissors. I'm using four millimeter eyes. Again, you can find these at any craft stores. Or, you know, how about using buttons? Everyone's got a button collection. My button collection is immense. And these are safety eyes, so they've got the backs on with them. Now this is quite hard to do with long fingernails. So I'm putting these eyes in. And let's put the back on the back. And they just slide right on. So, let's put the other one in. We're making this guy a friend. Oh, brother. Okay, they are in. So this is a little bit different to the strawberry in that we're going to start stuffing when we've, we've got to about there, because otherwise it's going to be very hard to get the floof right down into the end of the chilli. And we're just going round. You can do, you know, these, these probably need quite small stitches just because the smaller the item, usually the smaller stitches you do. And it's at this point, I'm going to start putting some floof in. If you can't get it down there, really good way is with the end of your scissors. So it's all the way down there. So 
I'll take the needle again and we'll go keep going back up the side. And then we'll pause again and we'll put some more fluff in. Keep him topped up nicely. And making sure we don't get any fluff caught in the seams. Okay, we are at the top. So the next piece that you're going to go for is this red circle. Now you can measure how big you need this. Once you cut your chilli, you just need the circle to be the same size as the gap at the top. So I'm just going to top it up with a little bit more floof so that he has got enough in his head. Give him some more brain cells. And then again, I've stayed attached with this and I'm going to pop this straight on with the thread that I've already got. Again, we're going for the same stitch, just keep going round. Tucking the floof in as we go until we get to the top and we've sealed everything in. So our chili is nice and happy and his head is on securely. Because you don't want your head coming off. Okay, that's what our guy looks like. So now we need his stalk. Now this is a piece that is a uh, pentacle, one, two, three, four, yeah, a five sided shape. And we've got this one that is sort of like a triangle with a bit top cut off at the top and that will make our stalk. So we need to find ourselves some green thread, snip that. thread our needle with the green thread. Again using double for strength. So we'll get this bit here and that's going to go right on his head like that. So the difference here is that you're not sewing two pieces of felt together that are flat, you're sewing one piece of felt that's already sewing, uh, well this is called a plique, so you're sewing a piece of felt onto a bit of felt that already exists that you've already sewn. I've zoomed in a little bit just to show you how this chilli top is going on. So this is called a plique. It's just felt going on to a bit of felt that we've already got. And as you can see, this is forming the base of the stalk for the chilli. We're using the same stitch as we did with the, the body of the chilli. We're just going under and over under and over so you're going round and round and round to put his little hat on so once we've done this bit we're going to tie off just do a couple of stitches to make sure that's secure in his head cut it nice and close because we have to do the stalk separately now this is our stalk shape. Now you don't need any stuffing for this. We're just going to get it and we're going to roll it up. This is a little bit fiddly. And I'm going to start sewing from the narrow end. Because then we'll end up with our needle down at the bottom and we can pop the stalk straight on his head. So once you've got a couple of stitches in, you don't have to hold it so firmly. Okay, there's another one of on my cats, I'm sorry. Out of way. Thank you. Get the top of that. It's just rolled up. You can't be in it. You can be, but all of you, not a bit of you. you can see it's taking shape and it will need 
all of your fingers to, to hold the bits in place. Now, apologies if you can you can hear my neighbours outside. I am obviously stuck at home, uh, and so is everyone else. Maybe they should be making chilies as well. Okay, I'll put the last couple of stitches in there. And then this stalk is going to go right on his head like that. Now, again, it's a little bit of juggling just to make sure it's in the right place and holding things still. And you're doing the same stitch, just securing it in place on top of his head. And go all the way around the bottom of the larger bit of the green, making sure that's nice and secure. Another couple of anchor stitches, make sure it's nice and steady. Snip that and you've got that chilli stalk there. So for those of you who've got paint, you can pop a little smile on him. My paint tube's blocked. If that does happen, get a needle and poke the end out. There's his little smile. So for those of you who didn't have the four mil eyes, we're going to swap them over. I'm just going to draw these eyes on. You can make them have big eyes if you want. I'm going to go for the same, same size eyes as the ones that were actually plastic. Just a few dots in the highlights of the eyes to make him look like he's looking to his right. So there he is with his friend. He's got two faces. And that's your chilli done. Hi Felt fans, welcome to the third video in this um, sort of half video tutorial entertainment um, that I'm, I'm giving today. So the last thing that we're going to make is an asparagus. So apologies for the um, slightly organic way that this is being filmed. Obviously we're, we are having to make do with, um, with what we've got and um, I can make felt and not videos. <laughs> So I'll stick with what I'm good at. So today we're going to make the asparagus. Um, I do have four cats and they're not leaving me alone. So they're just going to have to be in the video. Okay. So what we need for this is a piece of felt or a dishcloth or a sock or an old t-shirt. Um, there's some dusters. You can make some something out of the duster. Anything really, as long as you've got a bit of fabric. And it's like this. What we also need is some green thread, some scissors, and I use this piping cord. So you could actually use some really thick string, but we're going to use this to be the inside of the asparagus. Because it's actually easier to use than stuffing it. So we're going to cut this to shape as the first thing. We want it to be a little bit shorter than the top. Like that. Okay, I'm going to thread my needle up with the green thread. Like so, just double it over. And this is quite fiddly, but you basically want it so that you're holding the piping cord inside the bit of felt like that. I'm going to go from the bottom. This is a different stitch you're using here. This one is going to be called running stitch. You can look at loads of tutorials online about how to do that stitch. I will show you a little bit here. So you're going to be going in and then out. So you're literally going up and down like that, like the Loch Ness Monster. So I don't think there's an American equivalent to the Loch Ness Monster. No, I can't think of one. 
So we'll go in and out all the way to the top. You want to make sure that it's the same thickness and you're staying, you want it pulling up two over like that. You want it staying straight. Going in and out all the way up the asparagus stalk. This gets easier the more you sew it because you're not having to hold the piping cord in place. It's a little hard to see whilst I'm showing it this way but we'll manage. Here we are in a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. So you can see we've got stitches going in and out all the way up here making sure that we're keeping it tucked in at the same distance here so we won't end up with any wonky asparagus which is definitely not what you want and the piping cord is tucked nicely into that left hand side okay so we're nearly at the top once we get to the top just tie off the thread nice and securely and we'll go to the second part of this which is a bit where we roll them up okay so we're at the top i'm going to put a couple more stitches in there just over the top make sure that's not going to come undone and snip it okay so you should have a piece piece that looks a little but like that okay so with the edge that you've sewn on the inside, roll it up and the edge should cover those stitches. And now going back to the original stitch that we used, we're going to go all the way down here and sew this asparagus shut. Nice and secure. And then it'll be time to put the ends on. Sorry, that's another cat. Come on, run away. So I'll just change my needle because that thread is not going to be enough for that. Doubled over. Again, this is a little bit fiddly, but you know, you've, you've already practiced on the strawberry and the chilli. So you should be pros by now. secure it with a couple of threads, a couple of stitches. As you can see, I'm going to be going all the way down here under the flap, over the flap, under the flap, over the flap. So you want your stitches you know, reasonably close together, so it stays nice and secure. And just adjust down here. So this asparagus is taking shape now. So it will look like this. So we are a little over halfway. Cats are helping. You can definitely hear my neighbours outside now. <laughs> okay, we are nearly at the end. So I'm just gonna finish off this line and then we'll stay with the needle attached Put the top on. Okay, so this is what your asparagus should be looking at right now. So the next bits we're going to do, we've got the base, which is a slightly lighter green. 
So that's what asparagus has looked like inside. We're going to pop that on the end, a bit like we put the lid on the chilli on top of his head. But this is the asparagus' feet. With the same thread that we used, we're going to go all the way around and secure this circle into place. So with your asparagus rolled up, it should be exactly the right size to then pop that thing on the end. Go under and over and we're going to secure it by a couple of stitches. And then chew it off or just use scissors like a normal person. And that's what we're looking like now. And we've got one final bit. I'm just going to change my thread because that won't be enough. Take a bit more thread. Thread your needle. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated, but we can do it. So this circle, with your scissors, we're just going to push it a little bit further down into the head of the asparagus. You see it just turns out this looking like a little little cabbage at the top there. This is to simulate the top of the asparagus. So this needs less stitches, you're literally just securing it in place on the top to make sure it doesn't fall out, fly away. I'm just putting a couple in there on each side keep it in place. It's a bit fiddly but you know you guys are pros now you can do it. Pop that down into his head. Okay so that's his head. So I didn't use the eyes on this one because they they are very fiddly, so I'm going to paint these on. Oh, no, I've forgotten a step. So, as you'll notice, on this bit of asparagus, it's got, like, the little divots that you have in your normal asparagus. This is achieved by getting the scissors. Don't worry, you're not hurting him. Chopping. Little V shapes all the way down. So this is the divots that I'm cutting into the asparagus, just to create a bit of texture there. Lovely. I'm also going to use this close-up shot to show you how you put on the eyes. So I'm just going to go for yeah, sort of medium-sized eyes and a little smile, and then some little white glints in there. And that is your asparagus. And there's his little friend. So that is your how to make vegetables from what you find around the house um, and some felt if you have it. These were some of the best-selling items that were on uh, Lucy's on 6th at Rockefeller Centre that was the last show that I did last October. And hopefully now you can make these at home. I want to say thanks to Art Production Fund and Rockefeller Centre for um, given the idea to make this video and making it in, in conjunction with me. Um, it's been actually really fun. And this is Basil, as, as you all know. This is Buttercup, if you can see her. Um, and thanks for watching and good luck and have fun and just stay safe.